There are two things that are going to make you a better voiceover narrator. I'll tell you what those two things are next on this week's Dewey's Directive. Hello and welcome once again to another Dewey's Directive. I'm Bill Dewey's. I hope you are doing well. Well, there is no doubt that the bulk of the voiceover work out there consists mostly of narration work. When I say narration work, a lot of that's e-learning, a lot of it's corporate narration, and there are other various subcategories. But narration uh, far exceeds the volume of, say, commercial and promo work within the voiceover universe. So being equipped to be uh, competitive in your auditions and doing a great job uh, when you actually deliver projects to clients is of utmost importance. And there are two things that I've learned that really help me and that I use in coaching talent to give the best read possible when it comes to narration. And they are, number one, to sound engaged, and number two, to sound credible. So let's talk about those each briefly. Number one, engaged. To be engaged means that you're interested, that you're actually thinking about what you're talking about, that you're not just there spending time moving your mouth, making sounds, but that you're actually interested and you can express that interest to the person who's listening to you. And I think that's fairly self-explanatory. It's easy to, when you're, especially when you're working on a long narration, 5, 10, 15, 50, 100 pages, to kind of clock out mentally. But to give your best read, you have to stay engaged, thinking about what you're talking about and actually allowing yourself to sound interested in what you're talking about. And that is a big one with clients. Clients, and I get this a lot within auditions and uh, with project guidelines, where the client always, almost always is requesting for the narrator to sound engaged, interested in what they're talking about, which means that you'll sound naturally a little bit enthusiastic. And when I say enthusiastic, I don't mean over the top, but that you care about what you're talking about. Being engaged, that's number one. Number two, to sound credible meaning to sound like you know what you're talking about. Now, honestly, this one's a little harder. To sound engaged is considerably easier than sounding credible, to sound knowledgeable, because the truth is um, when we do narration work, we're, we're, we work, and if you've done this for any length of time, you understand what I'm talking about, we'll do a broad variety of work in any given week, sometimes within any given day, and it's impossible for us to be experts on all things. And so what I find, my experience has been that most of the narration work that I get, I know very little to nothing about it, which is okay. That's okay. That's not the issue. The issue is when I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. So number one, I have to sound engaged and interested. Number two, I have to sound like I actually know what I'm talking about. Now, I have two little tips for you to sound more credible in your uh, voiceover narration reads. One is to make sure that you speak from the lower part of your diaphragm. In other words, being relaxed. People who are speaking from a standpoint of authority, of knowledge, of credibility, tend to have a sense of uh, confidence, which exhibits itself in being relaxed when they talk about something because it's something they know that it comes naturally to them. So they will speak from a relaxed posture and it will typically come from the lower part of their diaphragm, meaning they're not, they're not speaking from up here. There, there's not a nervousness. There's not an uncertainty, but it comes from down here, the place of confidence. The second thing is they will tend to talk at a little slower pace Again, because adrenaline's not flowing because um, the adrenaline comes when you're nervous and not quite sure what you're doing, but they're relaxed. So they feel that no need to be in a great hurry to get the information out. And they inflect down a lot at the end of sentences. People who are unsure tend to, t- tend to allow their inflections to hang kind of in the mid-range to high range because they're not quite sure of what they're saying. So their voice has a hard time resting and coming down to a conclusion because they don't feel that what they don't feel conclusive in their understanding of what they're saying. So they don't tend to often inflect down to resolve the end of sentences, which imparts a, a sense of credibility to the listener. Okay, let me let me demonstrate this to you so you have a better understanding. I'm going to read just a brief paragraph from a technical narration, which um, 
it's not it's it's a technical narration but the wording is not terribly technical but there's a lot of verbiage that uh, as you look at the if you were to see the the whole of this project I'm very uncertain of but that's okay because this is what we have to do as voice talent right we're voice actors so a lot of what we do is pretend so what I'm going to do is number 1 uh, let me just read it through for you once and what I'll do is let give you an idea of what I would sound like if I wasn't engaged and if I wasn't focusing on sounding credible. The job stage structure consists of nine generic stages for all job roles, which includes generic job ge- which includes generic job stage descriptions for evaluation purposes. The stages are one to nine and above. Stage nine is the executive stage. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to number one sound a little more engaged and interested in what I'm talking about. And number two, I'm going to slow down and inflect down at the end of sentences so that I sound relaxed and confident. The job stage structure consists of nine generic stages for all job roles, which includes generic job stage descriptions for evaluation purposes. The stages are one to nine, and above stage nine is the executive stage. So I slowed it down. I inflected down at the end of sentences. Again, this just imparts uh, a greater feeling of, uh, of confidence in the person who's listening. They have a better sense that you know what you're talking about. And again, the trick is we don't oftentimes. So to sound, um, to be competitive in our auditions and to sound knowledgeable uh, in our actual final product, be engaged, be credible. Get a little bit excited about what you're talking about. At least pretend to be interested. And number two, just slow down and inflect down at the end of sentences. Relax. If you simply relax your read, it will make you sound more in control and more credible with the information that you're sharing. I hope you find this this strategy helpful because, again, the bulk of the work out there is narration work. So having uh, a skill set that allows you to, to navigate these waters effectively is Absolutely critical. And by the way, just a quick, uh, I've never mentioned this before, so it's not really a reminder. This is my first mention. I'm in the process of planning a two-day, a weekend narration workshop for a very small group of people uh, because I want to make sure that uh, we spend a lot of individual time uh, together. But it will be held here at my studio in my home this coming September. More information to come very soon, so stay tuned to this channel. If you're not on my email list, and that's where you can find out everything first, make sure you sign up by going to voiceoverrevolution.com. Thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. I hope you'll share it with your friends and I'll talk to you real soon.